Hey, uh, this is Will, and this is uh, my uh, first demo of uh, what I've been doing and learned in VR. And so first, uh, see that uh, I have hands, blocky hands at that, but I have hands. And I've got them to track with the Vive controllers. And so you can see that there's uh, not physics involved here, but just as long as the controllers are touching each other, um, they won't intersect too much. And so I have a little play area here, and you can see I have a variety of different objects. And so the majority of the time that I spent programming in VR was on how to interact with objects. So once there's an intersection with my hand and an object, and I click the trigger button, I can actually pick it up. And uh, I can also drop it as well and you can see that it bounces and that's something that you have to set up the unity physics engine to help you calculate but it makes it pretty easy so you don't have to do a lot of that yourself um you can not only pick up uh the ball uh, you can pick up other things as well and you can see that you can have one object in each hand or you can transfer them from one hand to the other. Um, so it makes it pretty neat. And once you have it in your hands, it, it rotates with your hand as well. So you can see that as I wave it around, it doesn't track uh, the hand exactly. There's a little bit of a delay. And so the part of the reason is that I wanted some masses to feel a little bit heavier than others. And uh, this is uh, from a tutorial by Sean Lee. And so you can feel that it's more apparent with this teal block where I have to do much more work to uh, get it to lift. And there's a, a delay in time when I lift it up. So that's, that's pretty neat. And also, um, uh, the physics engine uh, prevents me from pushing it through to the floor and I can, you can see that when I pick it up and try to push it, when I pull it back up, it'll track to the point that I have in my hand originally as well. Um, so just to make things a little bit fun, I made a little bit of, uh, of a basketball hoop. And so I'm going to see if I can score a point here. Apparently not. Let's try it with this other ball. Shoot. And maybe I'll get lucky this time all right and so you can see that uh, when I get a point there's actually a trigger space inside of here um, where the uh, hoop is and so if something goes in um, it'll trigger some actions and this trigger area actually is tied to the scoreboard and it'll increment the scoreboard every time. Um, you can see that uh, it won't work if you try to enter from from below. The score doesn't increase, but from above, oops, it, it'll trigger. Uh, you also notice that in celebration of making a basket, uh, you have some confetti that that comes around and so the confetti is just a particle system where you can set uh, the particles shooting out and uh, it took a little while to make sure that it shoots up really quickly and then drifts down so you can um, actually feel like you're oops celebrating it awesome and so that's six points for me and uh, that's pretty much it. So that's the first of the demos. And we'll see what else I can do from here on out. Thanks for watching.